Hello again, it's Shaman Isabella here with you. I'm going to do a little wisdom teaching and talk to you today about your ancestors' imprints, about the imprints of your parents and how you were raised, about the imprints that society is putting upon you and how to clear those imprints so that you can live in the full expression of who you are. So everything that ever happens to us creates a memory imprint on our light body. So we have a physical body, yeah? But we also have this energy around us. We have this energetic field. If you rub your hands together right now and then Put your hands together like this, or you may not even need to rub your hands together to feel it. You can feel energy coming out of your hands. Now, we all have light that comes out of our hands. We have light that comes out of our third eye. We have light that comes out of us, right? And so when you begin to focus on that light and focus your attention on this energy around you, you can see that you have an energetic field. Some people call it your aura. Some people call it the light body. Some people call it an energetic field, right? So this field, when you're little, think of yourself as a baby in your, in your mother's womb or as a child that comes out and is in this family dynamic, right? That you chose as a soul to come into to release past life karma, to work through your issues, to learn, to grow as a soul. So when you realize that that energy and that imprint of others can actually affect your energy field, then you can step into more power rather than blaming, rather than saying, oh, my parents did this to me or they did that to me or my siblings did this to me or the kids at school teased me and did that to me. Rather than blaming, 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 realizing there are no victims, only volunteers, and I know that's difficult for incest survivors or rape victims such as myself. Like, I, I get it. I get that it can be difficult to say, how would a child choose that? How would anybody choose that? But for me, it was very empowering. The minute I said, God only knows what I did to them in a past life. Good thing I came into this life. I've cleared that karma. I'm never going to get stuck in that karmic loop again. And, and I released that trauma from my energy body. Everything is a step, right? So first realizing that you've had all this energy coming at you, especially if you were born as sensitive, as many of us are, we're born sensitive, we're born empaths, and when we come into this world unaware, right, of what mother was thinking in the womb, of what was happening in the household, scarcity, lack consciousness, abuse, alcoholism, and whatever it is, or, or even a great family, you were raised in a great family, but maybe mom was super strong, or maybe dad had a loud, booming voice. And here you are, just imagine a little two or three-year-old child being yelled at by this great big person. Why well, you shouldn't have done that, you know? And what happens is you kind of jump out of your light. So you come in as this precious baby, you're not born into sin. <laughs> you know that old adage, right? You're born into sin. No, you weren't born into sin. You're born as this beautiful, beautiful light being. And then you come in with all your light. And then slowly over time, you lose a little, you lose a little. You, you track and pick up all this different energy and perhaps you get anxious or perhaps you get depressed. Last night I was doing a, a Peruvian prayer for a group and I tracked the energy that this girl had a tremendous amount of sadness. And she realized that that wasn't hers. It was one of her parents and she was ready to let go of it. And we were able to do the healing and she was able to get back in her power and feel that immense, beautiful energy. So awareness is half the battle, you guys. So once you become aware that all this energy has been happening to your whole life. And then you begin to become mindful and release. There are lots of exercises that you can do. You can write, 
You can blow. One of my favorite things, and I'm going to teach it over and over and over again, is the blowing technique. So, if you put your hands up and the energy's really sticky and you're feeling really heavy and you go, <sighs> angels and guides move that energy for me. <sighs> I am not choosing to be attached to that harshness. I'm choosing peace in my soul, choosing peace in my belly, tuning into the light, tuning into your own inner wisdom. It takes time, it takes time, but it absolutely works. And again, I'll say awareness is half the battle. So once you become aware that you chose your parents and this energy's come at you and that is perhaps why you're stuck or feeling overwhelmed with all that's going on today, start to take the steps. Start to really realize that you are a divine, magical being here on the universe, here in the universe, and you can succeed and you can move forward out of this energy. So I will be doing some more teachings on this subject, but I just wanted to give you a tiny taste of how to start to step into your power and really, really trust yourself. And until the next time, peace.